So this is Alice. She's an SRE. This is the Foo service. It's pretty buggy. I won't go into the details, but it basically runs out of file descriptors and needs restarts. Everyone knows this, but other priorities have prevented the code from being fixed. Because of that, it's a headache for Alice and it causes repeated interruptions and interfere with Alice's other work. So Alice decides to make it easier on herself. Her existing way to do the restarts is to recall her favorite commands and SSH them to each node. Each time she has to ask herself, did I run the correct command? Did I set up the correct logging? Did I use the most up-to-date list of servers? How do I recognize and handle errors? It's a bit of a pain each time. The much easier way is to use Rundeck to seamlessly dispatch the commands to all of the nodes that have the Apache service running. By connecting to other tools, services, and CMDBs, Rundeck's internal dispatching mechanism automatically stays up to date on the details of your infrastructure. In this case, Alice uses Rundeck to dispatch her favorite command to the appropriate nodes. Rundeck provides several features that make it easy to follow and share live output as the job executes. First, Rundeck features a node-centric view that shows Alice, or whoever on her team is interested, a summary view of commands node-by-node -node progress. Rundeck Pro also has a workflow-oriented view. Then there is the full log view where all of the standard output standard error is displayed collated by node. You can switch between views as needed. Each of these report views and the full log output is stored for convenience, management, or compliance reasons in Rundex activity history. Once Alice does the restart a few different times through Rundex, she decides that she likes it and she wants to save it as a job so that others on the SRE team can both reuse the job and collaborate on improving the job. Saving the job means it can be rerun anytime via the Rundex GUI, API, or command line tools. Now the restart command is a standard operating procedure for the SRE team, bringing easy access, repeatability, and visibility to the process. Later, it is decided that it would be the best use of everyone's time if the Network Operations Center team, the NOC, could take action themselves rather than escalate to Alice or the others on the SRE team. So Alice configured Rundeck to enable this. First, to avoid mistakes, Alice configured options to guide the NOC user's choices. Alice also improved visibility by separating the commands into separate logical steps and added log filters to highlight key output. Of course, strong security is essential to any self-service capability, so Alice used Rundex fine-grained access control to give the NOC teams access to specific jobs and nodes that they needed to do the restarts. Later, in part of Alice's company's DevOps transformation, it is decided that cross-functional product teams are going to share in more of the operational responsibilities. Now Alice needs to set it up so that developers can do the restarts. Alice starts by adding more options to act as guardrails that provide a smart choices for job runners. This includes having the job runner provide a valid ticket ID before the job executes. In the job output, you can see that the number of steps around the restart command have also expanded. We'll look at those in a minute. Alice also configured the job to further style the log output to make it clear what is happening. This provides improved visibility no matter how familiar you are with this Foo service. Let's look at the additional steps in the workflow that Alice added. First, she added a step that checks the ticket system to see that the ticket is valid and that the job runner is assigned to the ticket. Then she adds a step to pause the monitoring to prevent false alarms. After the restart, she adds a step to resume the monitoring and a step to update the status of the ticket. Finally, Alice sets up access control policies to give the developers access to the restart jobs and the correct nodes. Thanks for watching. Go to rundeck.com to give Rundeck a try. It's easy to get started. Rundeck works with any of your current or future tools. You can use your favorite scripting languages, and Rundeck is available in both enterprise and open source versions.